it's so lovely to finally see your face. Um, we've been having a lot of back and forth communication these past couple of days. Hi, <laughs> welcome to my office. I'm so glad to have you here. And thank you for choosing Cicada Praisal. You may have guessed, but my name is Cicada. Mm -hmm. Yes. I just wanted to mention that when I received your fax, I was instantly intrigued. I was. Um, your board game is actually something that I used to play when I was very, very young, a long time ago. Yeah, well, typically with new customers, I like to share just a little bit about myself so we can start to feel a little bit more comfortable with each other if that's okay with you. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. Um, I guess I like to start off by mentioning that I began appraising in my mid-40s and these past two decades have really fulfilled my, my passion for discovering things that time has left behind. Hmm? What's that? Oh. I, um, I do hear that quite often, actually. Um, thank you. <laughs> I will say that I have noticed that the longer that I spent around antique things, the the younger I look. So, <laughs> but um, thank you for your sweet, sweet compliment. I appreciate it. Um, next, I would like to let you know that I am a collector, also myself. Uh -huh. I am also highly regarded in the ARS community. You watch that show? <laughs> wow. I um, can actually be seen in episodes 68, as well as 419. Mm -hmm. They had me on as a guest, a special guest. So, I actually always have it queued up. So, if you are interested in taking a look at how I work, we can actually watch the episode together. Um. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. I get it. You're fine. Let me just turn this off. Okay. Let's just get right to it then. Okay. So, I do like to work with gloves on as to not transfer any oils onto your beautiful piece that you have brought in today. start with this. 
Yes, these are handcrafted specifically to my hand size. So, yes, a very lovely artist has made these for me. <laughs> Alright, and I cannot wait to use them to appraise your castle risk. Okay, so let me just say the first thing that I noticed is the signature <laughs> of the Risk Champion of 08 to 2012. Wow. I actually inseeded them in 2013. Um, yeah, still undefeated. What a small world. Alright. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now. I can see that we have some good old-fashioned wear and tear. which is natural with age it is just note that I have taken we have some discoloration let me hold that up and of course a price tag I'm sure if we were to peel that back uh, the cardboard may tear so best leave that as is now let's go ahead and I'll verify the spelling there are lots of copies and they are spelled incorrectly so here we go C A S E L E Now risk R I S K Game of Daring Strategy and Conquest So here we also have the maid in Hong Kong sticker. Excellent. Alright. So, I noticed we have some tape, like a packing tape. At one point, this had been wrapped in tape. So, I'm going to remove the game board. So, if I take a look at this, clean, very nice, very sturdy, and I'm going to open it. Here. This board has a little bit of bowing, but it's not as bad as the board games that you see these days. Okay. Okay. So, to the touch on my gloves, of course, this feels incredibly smooth. I don't see any inappropriate creasing. And the colors are very, very vivid, even after all this time. Well, the game was made in 1986, so I guess in the grand scheme of things, not much time has passed. Alright, next, we have 
the little book. So I will just quickly flip without creasing just to make sure that nothing is out of the ordinary and paper typically starts to yellow over the time but not much of that has happened here so I'm going to use the rule book to go through your equipment and make sure that it is all there so one baking board which we did review next is five dice two red three white So, two right here, and three white here. So, at my first glance, the reds are very, very beautiful. Very cherry red, and honestly, not much uh, scraping on the dice, as well as the white. Um, the edges are not as rounded as you typically see in board games today, and they do feel a bit bigger in the hand. So, very good set of dice here. Now, we will look at six castles and six empire banners. This is trash. Okay. Five and six. So you have a complete set here. Congratulations. So far, so good. And then we'll set these aside. Next, we are going to see what is on our checklist. So, we need six sets of armies, each a different color. I believe we have that here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All very lovely colors.
No. It is my duty to make sure all the pieces are still here. Yes, typically if um, a board game was in mint condition and were to be appraised as such that we, if it is true, cannot open to see what it looks like inside we would, yes, have to rely on the factory work of that time. Mm -hmm. Would I ever open a mint condition box? I would. I understand that the value would decrease, but I also want to experience what that time had to offer. So, okay. So you have all of these stars here, and all of these pieces here as well. So. We're off to a full count here. Let's move on to the color black, and I have been doing this for quite some time, but I can't help but feel that there may be a couple missing in this group, just due to the appearance, the bags seem to be a little less full Two, three, four, five, six. so all the stars are there and I'm going to quickly count in groups okay so it looks like you have one missing mm-hmm well, you know how some people can read in groups of words and essentially read paragraphs at a time? Sometimes just sentences? Well, I'm able to do that with counting and items. Which has made me excellent. This is a wonderful shade of blue. And now we count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now, you do have two missing. In this particular group. So I will take a mental note. Something that I will mention is that what you can do if you have missing pieces is part out your castle risk to help other people gain full collections. You can gain a bit of money doing this. 
or if you are interested, you can purchase the missing pieces. But that can get pricey, especially since so far we have three missing. And with our communication, I kind of sensed that you were wanting to make money rather than, than spend any. Okay. Wanting to sell your castle risk. Wonderful. Congratulations. You have all the purple pieces. Oh no. I dropped one, but... Would it honestly make a difference right now? I'm just kidding. Here we go. Every small piece counts. Yes, I am aware that the the later versions of this game actually came with, um, like, token holders. Very brightly colored, matching cases. And that's always nice for playing, as to not lose anything. Wonderful. This one only had one missing. Army color, yellow. Yes. Yellow is actually currently my favorite color. Well, when you're my age, you go through a few favorite colors in life. So, it looks like you were able to complete, uh, complete all the sets of the larger stars in each army. Okay. And this yellow set is complete. Did you have this from childhood, or was it passed down to you? You look younger than me, by a lot. Uh huh. Well, you found it? Oh wow. Lucky for you. At Goodwill? Wow. That is very, very cool. Okay, so we want a deck of 48 cards and an admiral ship, which I will go ahead and take a look at here. So, I do notice that there's a bit of a 
flowing here. This kind of leans um, front and to the left. But other than that, no staining. No residue. This is a good looking admiral ship. So I'll go ahead and split these cards into their own separate categories. Okay. these diplomats. They kind of look like my uncle. Yeah. Well, he's the same age as me. Okay, wonderful. Now, I will refer to the rule book to see how many of each we should have. So we should have eight marshals. them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wonderful. Seven diplomats. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are missing one. Eight generals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And six admirals. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now for the spies and reinforcements. Twelve reinforcements and seven spies. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have all of your spies. And reinforcement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Unfortunately, we also have one missing here. I believe I am done and um, let me go ahead and get this boxed up for you and we can discuss the finalization okay 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 so I believe that I've completed my analysis of your castle risk 1986 edition and I think I would like to start off by saying that a castle risk in mint condition um, now this would mean unopened still had the plastic wrap no dents no discoloration that sort of thing would be appraised at $75. That is a really good question. So, one that has been opened, used, and has some minor wear and tear would probably be appraised at $30. Yes. Alright. Well, since this is the reason we are here today, 
I will be appraising your castle risk at $20, which is incredible. It does appear that you spent $2 on this, so yes, that is very good news. All right, well, my appraisal rate is $30. Okay, um, I can propose something? Wonderful. I would like to propose that you leave leave Castle Risk with me and that way your invoice can drop down to ten dollars. Do you have cash up? Okay. Just go ahead and send me a tendy that way. Alright. Well, it was absolutely lovely doing business with you. I'm so glad that we got to meet and hopefully we can work together soon. Okay. Alright. Good night.